Aloha from Hawaii. Welcome back, you beautiful people, to the wonderful island of Oahu. The Perseid meteor shower that hits the northern hemisphere every August. Yeah, that meteor shower, we're going. It should be awesome. I'm super excited. Brought some stuff to lay down and watch some shooting stars. All right, Haley, are you on? Yeah. On. Okay. Welcome to Hollywood Harbor. We just inhaled some food and we're about to do this. We're gonna go meet Kimberly. They're jumping off the bridge. So we're gonna go jump off the bridge, okay? Yay! You're gonna I'll jump off the bridge? I'll swim. Mommy, Exercise my arms. So, uh, Kimberly and Gorbin, D and Bella. Is, that, is their dad here? Yep, their dad is here. So everyone and Kimberly, they're jumping off the rocks right now. I honestly don't know why it took us so long to explore Hollyaba Harbor and the river. Every time we drive through Hollyaba, I always see paddleboarders going up this river, kids jumping off the bridge. That's just what locals do. Hold it like that. has been a little rough this past year. Battles with the wind and the currents and the ocean has given me some serious doubts about my own ability. I was excited to see just how I would fare on the gentle currents and safe harbor of Hollyaba. But one thing was for certain, I had finally mastered the ability to stand while paddleboarding, even with two wiggly girls. Just past the bridge is a rope swing. Actually, a couple different options for pretty much choose your own adventure. Unfortunately, at this moment, somehow one of us switched the GoPro into time warp. I'm so sorry. It was honestly a while before I noticed, and at first I was really devastated by this, but I figured you would still enjoy seeing it. And honestly, it just speeds up the adventure a little bit. I'm sorry for the shakiness, but it was still beautiful.
there were many families and kids trying to get all over this rope swing, so it was a little hectic and crazy. We waited our turn. Alex fought her way through it. And at first, like, she jumped down, and then finally she made it all the way to the top. She was totally scared when she got up there. Took a little encouragement before she finally jumped into the river off the top of that branch. Haley was really inspired by this, so as soon as she saw her big sister do it, she's like, I'm gonna go do that. And I don't think the camera caught it really well, but Haley made her way over there and she, she tried. I would say she got about halfway up the stairs before she was like, I'm good, and she just jumped into the water from there. See the turtle pop his head up? He's directly in front of you. Don't move, Alex. All right, sit down. The homes along the river here are so beautiful. And while so many people are scrambling for oceanfront property on this little island, I have a feeling that the owners of these homes have had the last laugh. Why is their house so better than ours? Nicer. Why do you think it's not fair? Well, they probably worked harder for it or their grandparents worked harder for it or someone worked harder for it. At least I hope so. We did see sea turtles down this river, and honestly, it kind of surprised me a little bit. They are big turtles. They are old turtles down this river, and they'll just pop up right next to your paddleboard, right there. And the first time this happened to us, uh, I honestly forgot for a moment that we're in Hawaii, right? And I was like, alligator! <laughs> when we saw the turtle, mom thought it was an alligator. They will surprise you too and pop up right next to your paddleboard. I think she got scared. I'm so sad. Oh, I'm sorry that this went into time warp. It was so beautiful. passing back under the Hollyover Bridge, maybe an hour from sunset. Alex asked to go jump off the bridge with Kimberly. And at first I was like, oh, you know, okay kid, go for it. So she went over there with Kimberly and she got all the way up there. She stood up top and psyched herself out. She came back and she was so sad. She was so sad that she didn't do it. I had to comfort her a little bit like, it's okay, like, you're gonna build the courage. It's gonna happen. I'm sure that child is gonna be Wonder Woman here very soon, jumping off that bridge, just like the locals. If 
give Alex credit. She got up there, just too scary. Don't blame her in the slightest bit. You said I don't have to. Nope, you don't have to. If you want to. Next is really beige. I was trying to hustle, putting the paddle boards away so that I could capture the sunset. And I was stopped by two different groups of people interested in Bullseye. Now, Bullseye, in case you guys didn't know, he is a 1994 Land Cruiser 80s series. And I'm pretty much celebrity status driving him around this island. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, that's okay. But one of them actually sent me some of the photos that he took of me. I had no idea that he was taking photos of Bullseye and myself. I'm gonna put those right here, as well as his Instagram link. It was pretty cool. Mahalo. Oh my God. <laughs> It's hard for our children to realize this, but we will not always have a chance to hang out with these friends, to enjoy Hawaiian sunsets, to play in the warm waters of the Pacific. That is the curse and the blessing of being a military family, the nomadic life. But for this moment, these friends are friends the warm Pacific waters and that Hawaiian sunset. This moment was perfect. And I am so grateful that we could capture it. The stars started to come out, we realized this wasn't the sleepy town we thought it would be. Oh, dude it. The party kept going, and we realized that if we wanted to truly see any shooting stars, we needed to head out of town. And what's better to see the stars than Kayana Point? Now, Kimberly and James and family, they decided to head home. The girls and I, they agreed to push it a little bit longer for a more of adventure. It was very rude. Now, being out in the farthest points of civilization as you can get on this island, I had no idea that Saturday nights, this place would pretty much turn into a block party with a lot of people running around with flashlights, everything. So it, my romantic notion that we were going to sit out on the beach, watching the Milky Way and shooting stars, totally <laughs> vanished in a moment of arriving to Canada Point. Haley had fallen asleep. Alex was starting to get a little cranky and everyone just would not turn their lights off. So we called it a night, accept defeat and headed back home to lick our wounds, but I was not giving up. I think this had truly inspired me to teach my children just a little bit more about the stars and this big, beautiful universe. And so, Risking a little bit, we headed out on a Tuesday night to go watch 
the stars. And oh, a couple weeks had gone by since we had first tried to go see the Perseid meteor shower, right? We hit that during the peak weekend, I think early August. And by the time we had come back, we didn't see any meteor showers. The moon was also much brighter. We couldn't see the Milky Way at all. But you know what? It was still a wonderful evening with my two wiggly children who had trouble sitting still long enough to appreciate the stars. I did also have a cockroach try to crawl up my leg when we first got here. I have been trying to work on my nighttime time lapse since our paddle boarding in Haleiwa. And I've had some limited success, but tonight I had a bit more success. But I can see though that there is no shortcut when it comes to the amount of time you need to do it right. So I feel like this is gonna be one of those things I'm going to really work on perfecting my skills for you guys and capture those stars. Yes, please! Starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might. Have the wish I wish tonight. Mahalo for watching you guys. If you haven't done already, smash that like button.